Wow. Good morning to my fellow friends. My name is Jay Balin. I am from class BM1A. Today I am going to talk about OSHA registration, which is a topic that is assigned to me by Check Design. Before I jump into the video, I'm going to sign, I'm going to try I'm going to try to explain to you what is OSHA exactly. OSHA actually stands for Occupation Safety and Health Act, which was established by the US uh, Department of Labor. Okay, it is governed by the Occupation Safety and Health Administration. Yeah. yeah that's basically what's OSHA. Okay. Now that's done. Let's jump into the video. OSHA's legislation. Basically, what is OSHA's legislation? OSHA's, OSHA's legislation is like a regulation. Yeah, the re registration you can substitute that word with regulation, also known as law. Law would be much more easy to understand. So basically, what this tells is OSHA OSHA law. Let's keep it simple. Huh? They are requirement for employers to make safety and health policies for their workers. So employer need to create a safe working place for you and according to the OSHA's laws. As for specific standards, there could be many OSHA safety regulations that employee, employers are responsible for in their workplace, depending on their industry. The standards may vary, but at the end, the common thing that stands between all of them are to protect, basically the law is there to protect all the workers. If there is a workplace hazard or policy that an employer need to address to the staff as a part of a safety program, the employee would need to check for specific OSHA standards regarding the potential regarding the potential hazard that suits the hazard then. So you need to choose a law and you need to check the site so that it matches with the hazard and try to keep the focus safe there. Besides that, what your employer can do is to create a safe environment for your workers. They can set up OSHA compliance safe, safety signs and even give out free personal protective equipment, which is also known as PPE for the workers so that they can create a safe and sound environment for the workers to work. Most of the employers violate this OSHA laws, but the laws that are most often violated are fall protection in construction area, lockout and respiratory protection are often found as top violations of each year. The OSHA 1926.501 standard titled Safety and Health Regulation for Constructions Subpart Fall Protection explains the requirement for employers to provide fall protection system for workers as I said this now you should give out personal protective equipment together with this system areas include our uh, areas included a workplace with unprotected sites and edge holes roofs and other situation where fall protection systems are necessary sections of the specification standard explain when system like person followers and safety net systems are required along with other methods of fall protection. Other than that, some lockout programs are discussed in OSHA 1910.147 standards. In these standards, requirements are set for the control of machines and equipment that upon startup or release of stored energy could harm the workers. Besides that, other standards such as OSHA 1910.261 and OSHA 1910.269 covered lockout programs for specific industries like mills and electric power generator. OSHA 1910.134 covers respiratory pro protection, a specific type of personal protective equipment for general industries as well as construction, uh, longshoring, shipyards, and marine terminals. That's it for my presentation. Thank you for lending your time and listening to my presentation.